Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning or good afternoon. Um, it's my pleasure to be here to give a presentation on the uh, open network and the uh, China Unicorns uh, practice. Uh, talking about open network, uh, we need to uh, recall SDNFE. Uh, 10 years ago, uh, SDNFE uh, will propose uh, to uh, transform the telco network from the uh, monolithic closed system to uh, disaggregated open uh, system. Uh, we wish that the network uh, would be the standard decoupled uh, programmable and the uh, uh, lower uh, capex and the uh, opex. Uh, in these 10 years, we uh, see that a lot of the network related open source communities emerge to accelerate the SDF uh, development. Uh, some of them, such as Open Daylight, Open FWE, uh, ONAP, uh, have joined the uh, network umbrella of the Linux Foundation RFN. Uh, why uh, open network is attractive to uh, telecom operators? Uh, I think there are three main reasons. Uh, the first is to uh, speed up uh, service innovation. Uh, obviously, open network is more flexible and scalable to enable uh, quick service innovation. Uh, especially for the, uh, to be marked under the vertical industries applications, because in uh, to be marked, we need a flexible uh, service uh, the innovation. So uh, service flexibility and agility will help operators to resist the computation from the OTT and the cloud operators. Uh, the second motivation is to reduce the capex and the opex of the networks uh, by the introducing uh, common uh, hardware and the software. The network could be effectively uh, the network cost could be effectively cut down, uh, especially for the newly competitive operators or in the greenfield of the incumbent. Uh, network uh, operators like the China Unicorn, open network like could be uh, firstly introduced. Uh, the third one is to uh, build a healthy industrial ecosystem. Open network like will help uh, operators to uh, build a multi vendor environment to avoid a uh, single vendor lock in. So uh, I think uh, this is the three really main uh, reasons. Uh, uh, for the uh, uh, telco uh, operator to do the uh, open network. Uh, this is China Unicorn uh, attaches great importance to open network R&D and, and uh, is actively uh, involved in many open source communities, including our friend OIF, uh, Oluan Tip. Uh, our uh, goal is to build an end-to-end -end open network from uh, open LAN, open edge, cloud native core network to the uh, disaggregated transport network. Uh, but I think uh, it is a long journey to uh, uh, construct an end-to-end -end open network. We have to do this step-by-step. Step. Firstly, we will focus on uh, some uh, key parts and uh, cultivate the uh, open network ecosystem. Uh, here I will give you a brief introduction to some of uh, China Unicorn's open network and deal uh, works. Uh, the first is uh, 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 open law. Uh, radio access network uh, accounts for the vast majority of the network investment. Uh, usually about uh, uh, 16 to 17 uh, percent. So the open run is very attractive for telco operators. Uh, China Unicorn is actively involved in TIP and the old run alliance to promote the development of the open run. Uh, open run should be the white box hardware based. Uh, it will be the software and the hardware decoupling. 
uh, it needs an open front hall so that DU and the RU could uh, come from the multi vendors. Uh, radio intelligent controller uh, RICL is a key uh, software uh, for the uh, intelligent control and the uh, management. Uh, China Unicolor has already uh, developed the uh, cloud native 5G base station, uh, which uh, uh, integrates uh, base station controller uh, and uh, edge computing as well as the edge application platform uh, into the one uh, box. Uh, uh, this uh, uh, 5G station could be uh, used uh, in private industrial network. Uh, another important area uh, is the open uh, 5G uh, core network M4 interface and the white box the, uh, UPF. Uh, open the M4 interface is uh, the key for the enriching the vertical solutions. Uh, China Unicolor has defined white box UPF and the M4 standard. We have uh, developed the lightweight and the low cost UPF for the private 5G network so that we could provide the customized solutions for the uh, vertical uh, industries. Uh, the, uh, actually, now let's let talk about the uh, uh, edge computing. Uh, uh, edge com I think edge computing is uh, the most important opportunity uh, for uh, promoting the uh, open network. Uh, with the uh, development of 5G, uh, China Unicorn uh, deployed uh, many uh, 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 mobile edge computing uh, applications for the uh, vertical industries. Uh, China Unicorn's uh, uh, MEC platform is initially designed uh, uh, following ETSI and the 3GPP standard. Uh, from uh, uh, two years ago, uh, uh, more uh, features beyond the standard are introduced uh, in our uh, MEC platform, uh, including the uh, world's first uh, MP2 interface and the uh, open uh, self-service capabilities for the uh, customers. Uh, now that we are developing a more uh, open edge computing platform uh, and uh, uh, build rich uh, ecosystems with uh, our partners. Uh, China Unicolor is uh, uh, actively involved in uh, Arduino uh, open source project uh, and uh, uh, developing the unified uh, cloud native uh, based uh, uh, Pass uh, architecture uh, to support uh, both the CT and the IT capabilities uh, exposure uh, and then a uh, unified uh, northbound uh, interface. Uh, oh, uh, optic, uh, now let's uh, talk about the optic uh, transport network. Uh, optic transport. Uh, uh, system uh, is uh, usually uh, tidied closed. In recent years, uh, open optic network has attracted great attention for the uh, data center uh, interconnections, uh, which uh, could uh, decouple the uh, optic layer and the uh, electronic uh, layer. Uh, Channel Unicolor has developed the uh, cost effectively. Uh, uh, open the uh, metro uh, DWDM equipment for the uh, metro uh, data center interconnection applications. Uh, we have uh, developed a uh, unified uh, management controller and the uh, arc street uh, based on the uh, standard uh, southbound interface and the uh, northbound interface to uh, support the uh, multi vendor. Uh, equipment uh, in the operation. Uh, yes, to uh, 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 develop uh, uh, open uh, agile transport equipment, uh, China Unicorn has developed uh, 
Now, uh, novel equipment operating system, uh, we call uh, it a uh, CEO uh, NOS, uh, China Unicorn Network Operating System. Uh, CEO NOS uh, is based on the uh, open interface and the open source, but uh, we also uh, extend uh, uh, functions to uh, uh, satisfy the uh, uh, requirements of the uh, telecom networks the higher uh, reliability. Uh, based on the CEO NOS and the uh, uh, other uh, open source uh, software, uh, including the uh, 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 Sonic, uh, we uh, developed the, the series of the customized the, uh, white box switches and the agile transport uh, network for the uh, data center and the agile uh, uh, applications. Uh, yeah, uh, finally, uh, yeah, open uh, network is uh, always uh, uh, complex, uh, even uh, controversial uh, uh, topic. Uh, I think uh, the development of the uh, open network is still in the early stage. Uh, the performance of the uh, many uh, open network equipment uh, must be further improved to meet the uh, uh, telco grid requirements. Uh, to support the open network, operators need to uh, strengthen its uh, network integration and uh, and the dealer capabilities. Uh, we also need to uh, uh, continually enrich the open network ecosystem. Meanwhile, we need to uh, change our uh, business model, including uh, uh, equipment uh, uh, procurement, network construction, and uh, uh, operation uh, uh, models. Uh, anyone, uh, anyway, the objective for the open network uh, uh, is to uh, uh, better serve our uh, customers. So we should uh, provide the uh, uh, open uh, API and the uh, capability exposure platform to support our customers' uh, service uh, uh, innovation. Uh, uh, yeah, today uh, I think we're still facing uh, many uh, uh, challenges. Uh, we need to uh, move to uh, open network uh, step by step. We still uh, need to uh, make greater efforts to uh, make the success of the uh, open uh, network and uh, uh, open network uh, uh, equipment and solutions. Uh, that, that, that's my uh, shell. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, if you could stop sharing, then we can do the video. There you go. Uh, okay. Uh, it, it, ah, there you go. Perfect. All right, very good, very good. So uh, again, for participants, please, if you have questions, put them in the Q&A box. We will answer as many as we can in the time slot. I do have a couple of questions come in and I, and I have one as well. It was really good that you put the, the each layer of the network from you know applications, cloud native orchestration uh, to network, to data plane and, and, and optical all the way down, um, including the NOSIS that you are looking at open source. And I like you know, your suggestion that everybody should be doing this in steps. Um, so the question for you is uh, uh, two questions actually. One is on the optical side. Uh, we have not been very active on, on, on proactively putting uh, communities for open source on optical given that uh, you know, whether it's DWDM or, uh, uh, you know, Metro or core, uh, it, it's a very, very proprietary technology for, for the capacity part. But there's definitely control plane uh, work that has been done that is standardized that we could take advantage of. So do you have projects that you want to 
you know bring to the open or do you do you see any uh, initiatives out there that that the rest of the community can benefit and again they don't have to be differentiation it's just standard plumbing right on the control side mm -hmm. for for optical mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh, for, uh, uh, for optical uh, the, the industry has uh, already done a lot of work uh, to uh, disaggregate uh, uh, optical layer and the electronic layer mm -hmm. uh, such, such as uh, open the low uh, project uh, Yes, in, uh, this year, China Unica has uh, done a lot of work on, uh, on the metro uh, optic transport uh, uh, to uh, decouple uh, uh, optic layer and electronic layer uh, for the uh, data center interconnection applications. I have already yes. uh, developed uh, such uh, systems. Uh, as for the uh, uh, con uh, controlled uh, layer, uh, we'll uh, uh, define our uh, own uh, 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 interface, so uh, uh, so it, it could work for a uh, multi uh, vendor, but it is still uh, uh, China Unicorn's uh, uh, standard. Is, is, uh, so I, I think uh, the uh, community should uh, work together uh, to uh, uh, develop a common uh, 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 interface. Okay, uh, it, it is very important uh, as I think uh, on Apple and other communities could uh, make uh, some contribution to this outlet. Yeah, no, that's why I was bringing it up. So that's great. Uh, and the other question, again, you know, for people who want to put questions, please do it in the Q&A box on, on your right. Uh, the other question is, as these projects and pieces come together and you know it's step by step. One of the initiatives that LF Networking has is the 5G Super Blueprints, right? Where multiple projects come together. If you participate uh, and as you participate, you know, you can get, uh, you know, a Crano integrated with ONAP, integrated with ORAN and, you know, a lot of pieces come together. Uh, you know, OPNFE now known as Anuket, they all come together. Uh, where do you see that helping you in, in China Unicom and uh, what can the community uh, focus on if they were to bring projects together in a blueprint, uh, which will ease the deployment? Yeah, because there are many uh, projects at, uh, at this moment, uh, we uh, mainly focus on uh, uh, agile uh, applications. Uh, yes, we, we uh, want to uh, bring the uh, some uh, uh, open source project uh, just uh, in the uh, agile uh, area like for the uh, agile computing, mm -hmm. uh, for uh, 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 open uh, switch is also used in uh, in uh, agile. Mm -hmm. So uh, at this moment, the uh, agile and the uh, metro is our uh, is your uh, focus. focus. Okay, uh, got yeah. it, got it. Excellent, very good. Uh, well, great. Thank you very much for, for this insightful talk. I think it aligns very well with the, what, what the community is doing. And we really appreciate you taking the time and speaking to this audience. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye.